English is a borrowed language. More than 150,000 words of English are derived from Greek words. Many of the English words we use in our daily lives come from Greek mythology. I've chosen four common words with fascinating stories. Learning the stories behind these words will help you build vocabulary. Echo was a nymph. When Zeus was having affairs with nymphs, Echo would distract Zeus' wife Hera with long conversations. To punish Echo, Hera laid a curse on her. Echo could no longer speak except to repeat the last words of others. Then Echo had a crush on a beautiful young man called Narcissus. She followed Narcissus when he was out hunting. Who's there? Who's there? Come here. Come here. Why are you repeating my words? Why are you repeating my words? So in English, echo means a sound that is heard after it has been reflected of a wall or a cliff, or to fill a place with repeating sounds. Narcissus was a very beautiful young man. When he saw his reflection in the water, he fell in love with it. Every time he touched it, it disappeared. Narcissus spent days and nights staring at the beautiful being he couldn't get. He stopped eating and drinking until he died one day. In the place where his body rested, a flower began to grow. It was named Narcissus. So in English, the word narcissistic is used to describe people having too much interest in themselves. Oh my God! I'm so handsome. The word erotic comes straight from Eros, the Greek god of love and sexual desire. He was called Cupid in Latin in Rome. His golden arrows instill love and passion in people's hearts. Psyche was a mortal woman whose beauty rivaled that of Venus. Full of jealousy, Venus commanded his son Cupid to shoot Psyche with an arrow so that she may fall in love with a horrendous creature. But Cupid shot himself with the weapon and fell in love with Psyche. To punish her, Venus gave Psyche a series of impossible tasks, but Psyche made it. She proved herself worthy to be Cupid's wife. She was later granted immortality and made into the goddess of the soul. The root word psych means the mind, soul, or spirit in English. Words like psychology and psychiatry are connected to the mind. These are the stories that I can't forget. I hope you enjoy the stories and spend some time researching the etymology of words. Learning the cultures behind a word gives you a great advantage in building your vocabulary and figuring out new words you come across. Thanks for watching. I'm Xiaoming Bao. See you next time.